is Congressman, Democratic Congressman from New York, Jerry Nadler. Congressman, thank you for joining us. I know I'm in an area that you represent. I know you split it with uh, Carolyn Maloney, so I don't want to. I don't want to get into any turf war here. But I want to talk to you about New York in general, and, and not just big business like that we see in Times Square. So much of New York is about those small businesses, those independently owned restaurants. That's what the life of the city runs on. What are you saying to those businesses about what they can expect when they are able to reopen? A lot of them weren't able to get PPP, weren't able to get those SBA loans, or they weren't frankly, they weren't frankly going to do enough good for them. Well, the things everything have to get. Okay. Excited that, and uh, we're going to have to put more money for the SBA loans. And, and, and in terms of reopening, we have to be very, very careful. Um, I know that the fatigue can set in, and people are eager to reopen their businesses. We got several things to consider. Number one, people are not going to come back to restaurants uh, so fast when they're worried about their own health. So that's a little premature. Second of all, you can't reopen businesses until we have enough testing that has been done and it, and far from enough testing has been done to justify allowing people to 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 reduce the uh social distancing requirements and we've been through this before uh in the aftermath of 9 11 which is also in my district um people were told by the secretary of uh, uh, of, uh by the federal secretary and by the mayor giuliani that it was safe to go down and, and work in, in the in the World Trade Center area, but it was not. And people believed it, and that's why we have thousands and thousands of people today who are sick or, or who have died, because they returned to those areas before they were safe. We have to be very careful that we don't do this now, again. Now, we know that, the, that President Trump is trying to, uh, for political reasons, because he, he wants the economy to look good before his re-election, he's trying to uh, disregard the science, disregard the medical advice, and get the, 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 the businesses opened again. But if that happens, it's going to lead uh, predictably to a lot more people getting sick and to another surge uh, of, 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 of the virus, to another surge of, of, of sicknesses. So what we're telling people is uh, so we have to be very careful and we cannot rush the reopening. And uh, the, the federal government is going to have to uh, make small business owners and, and unemployed people going to have to get them the funds so, to survive uh, for the duration. And the duration may be long. I don't agree with the president this is all going to be over this spring. It's not. Well, let me ask you a very specific question about those small business loans and, and the next round of funding, if there is another round of funding to come. Is there any talk that you're, you might eliminate the deadline, the time frame where where businesses would have to pay back or rehire their employees in order to get forgiveness for the loans. I've been talking to a number of small business owners in the hospitality industry and in the restaurant industry who say that that time frame means that they're not going to be able to take out that loan and get forgiveness. Is that being discussed? Yes, I, I, I think uh, we're going to have to modify that, especially as expectations you know when we started this people thought it was a very uh, it would be very brief it's not going to be very brief we have found that out already um the cdc dr fauci are telling us that uh, we're going to have a resurgence of this in the fall even if over the summer it goes down so yes we're going to have to appropriate more money for small businesses we're going to have to uh, eliminate uh, uh, various deadlines or we'll put them off for a long time we have to adapt to the changing circumstances uh, this is a, a, a crisis such as we haven't had in a century since the Spanish flu of 1918. And, and we have to flow with it, not with artificial, uh, politically motivated uh, uh, deadlines. Now, the president is, is trying to impose artificial, politically motivated deadlines so that the economy can look good before the third quarter for the election. But uh, if that happens, we'll simply get a lot thousands and thousands of more people dead and we can't we can't do that congressman we wish you luck going back to work um and we wish you safety as well thank you very much for joining us uh chuck i'm gonna throw